men's sperm counts are dropping. Studies have shown that in the last 40 to 50 years, sperm quality and quantity are decreasing globally. I'm Dr. Joshua Gonzalez, urologist and sexual health expert. If you're a man concerned about his fertility, here are some tips on how to maximize your sperm health. One of the easiest ways to improve fertility is diet and exercise. What we eat has a significant impact on sperm production. Now the classic Western diet is full of stuff that's not good for sperm production, like trans fats and sugars. You want to avoid those. You want to create a diet and look for foods that are high in antioxidants, omega-3 fatty acids, and certain vitamins like C and E, and minerals like zinc. As we age, our cardiovascular system function starts to decline, and that means less blood flow to essential organs that are important for sperm production. One way to combat this is to exercise regularly. I usually recommend 30 minutes a day for at least three to four days per week. If you can do more, that's great. More cardiovascular exercise means more blood flow to the organs needed for sperm production. Another way to maximize sperm health is to avoid certain toxins. Now there are substances like phthalates and BPA, which may be difficult to avoid unless you're really good about eating organic foods. But one thing you can do is avoid cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoke is a known carcinogen and it's definitely bad for your sperm. Whether that be you're inhaling it yourself or being around it too much, you want to avoid cigarette smoke altogether if possible. Another commonly consumed toxin is alcohol. Now alcohol is not inherently bad, but excessive intake of alcohol is definitely bad for your sperm production. So if you're looking to maximize your sperm health, shoot to drink no more than five drinks per week. Speaking of things to avoid, one thing that a lot of guys overlook is stress. Stress is an absolute sperm killer. Stress releases a substance called cortisol. Cortisol increases inflammation in the body and is terrible for sperm production. So whether it be taking a bike ride on the weekend, going to your favorite yoga class, or just practicing meditation at home, whatever you can do to reduce stress is gonna be great for sperm production. But if you're gonna be doing yoga, make sure it's not the hot kind, because another way to improve sperm health is to keep your guys cool as a cucumber. That's right, anything that increases heat to your testicles is gonna be bad for sperm health. So you're gonna to wanna to avoid jacuzzis, saunas, and even certain underwear like tidy whities that keep your boys close to the body. Heat isn't just bad for sperm health, it actually kills sperm. So if you wanna maximize your overall count, try and keep your boys cool. Now, if you're really looking to go the extra mile to improve your sperm health, consider taking Popstar supplement. Popstar is chock full of ingredients that are important for men's sexual health, including zinc and pygeum. Zinc has been associated with better sperm quality, better sperm count, and better male fertility. And pygeum has been associated with increased seminal fluid, alkaline phosphatase, and certain proteins that are very important for sperm health. So in addition to the things that I already mentioned in this video, taking Popstar daily can help improve the overall quality and health of your sperm. I hope you liked today's video. If you're interested in learning more, check out the links in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos from the Dick Doc.